Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Artie, and this is The Moving Average, a show where we discuss everything day trading to keep you profitable. This video is going to be completely different than everything else. What I've done is brought on a special guest for you guys to chat to, to meet with, and to ask your questions, which I've asked in my Telegram group. So what I'd like to do now is introduce Gary Mullen. He is the CEO of Funder Pro, the prop firm that I introduced in a previous video and is the one that I chose to do my current funded account challenge on. So Gary, nice to meet you. Uh, hey everybody. What I'd like to do is open up first and ask you why you started Funder Pro and how you're gonna differentiate yourself from what seems like a quite saturated market and the big players in the industry. Yeah. Uh, okay. First, yeah. Thanks for having us on the channel. Uh, very excited to be here. I think, you know, we, we've, we've been working together for a little bit of time now. Obviously we're seeing your progress through the challenge, which is really cool. And, uh, it's nice to see the nice content uh, and the engagement with your audience, which is, which is awesome. Yeah. So. Funder Pro, I suppose myself and my business partners, we created Funder Pro really because we saw the, the, the space, the prop firm space really being the next stage in Forex, in the Forex industry. I think it, it gives such an advantage to traders who otherwise would only have a $500 or a thousand dollar account. And, you know, they might have the skill and, and, you know, they might be working really hard, but it's so hard to scale that small account from $500 to bringing you, you know, paying the rent and, and putting food on the table every month and, and allowing people to be, you know, full-time traders. And so having a, a, a prop firm, the industry is, is huge because somebody who now has this skill and the talent, they're really able to, uh, you know, take advantage of those big funds and then be sustainable and, and really grow their grow their profits, you know, incrementally instead of having to put so much risk onto an account to make those returns. Where we see Funder Pro being different, I suppose, is that we really wanted to bring in the point of the the consistency and the real funds because we think that long term for the industry, having having a prop firm that has the interests aligned with the trader, it just brings you know, a lot of strength and a lot of legitimacy to the whole industry. And, you know, us being aligned with the trader means that, you know, we're always in the incentive to find the best spreads, to find the best programs and to even give it the best, you know, challenge criteria and say, you know, like our unlimited time, we don't want you to rush through the challenge. You know, take your time. You shouldn't rush your trading. You should only get in when the opportunity is right. You don't need to do it in 30 days. Do it in the amount of time that you feel is right and get in on the opportunities and, and strike, you know, when the opportunity is good. That's the one thing that sold me on Funder Pro is because I have so many other obligations that I don't trade all the time anymore. Um, I used to when it was my primary source of income, but now it's a secondary thing. And so at that time is when I learned about prop firms and all of these challenges from all of the companies that I've played with almost seem to set the trader up for failure by adding that extra pressure. And they seem like their business model is primarily based on purchases of those challenges versus having a team or a, just a huge crew of really good traders that are making ridiculous amounts of capital for the company and for themselves. And so yeah, that's just, that's a game changer right there for me. Yeah, uh, that side of it is important for us because again, like you say, it's, it's you know, people, firstly, people don't have the time every day. Uh, and secondly, the market's just not always right. You know, if, if you're trading, if you're trading goals, uh, maybe it's just not good opportunities in the market now. And so you need to wait, you need to wait until your strategies are working. And then once, once it's ready and all your markings are set up and you know that it's going to be a good opportunity, then you take it. Right. And, and also, you know, what you said earlier about people having a small account, like a hundred dollars or $500, that pressure of you needing to replace your full-time income with such a small account is going to push you to be more reckless with your trading over risking, which is going to teach you bad habits long-term, whereas you could spend that same amount of money on you know, a funded account challenge and then have a larger capital to trade with. Like 
right now um, I'm doing this evaluation way different than previous times. I always did the 1% risk and, you know, trying to hit a one to two or a one to three. And now I realize because I have no time limit, I've moved my risk down to a quarter of a percent per trade going for one to three. And so I can have my stop losses tighter. And, you know, like the first day that I traded, you know, I had four losses, but then I, I got it back with a one to five. And so I'm pretty much break even on the challenge right now, but other obligations. So I haven't been trading ever since, but still there's, there's no pressure and I don't, I love it because I don't feel the need to like stop everything that's going on in my life, you know, being a dad or other companies yeah. and just focus on the trading. So, yeah, no, for sure. And, um, I think as we go forward, we're, we're really focused, uh, I suppose, on innovation. We're trying to find those points where, you know, we're going to be different because we're aligned with the interests of the traders and because we're building the technology and we're building it from scratch, we're really able to make the product that fits the trader, not, not something that's out of the box, you know? So, uh, yeah, like I think community wise, we're, uh, I think like you, you're really strong with your community and, and there's always a lot of feedback for us as well. We always want to hear about the innovations in the ideas and, and the struggles that people have because we can build better product out of, you know, out of those pain points. Using that as a segue into the next topic, because you said, you know, creating the the technology behind it, um, you guys just released Trade Locker. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Because I know that everybody, especially my entire audience, we're forced to trade on MT4 or MT5, which looks like it was made in, you know, Windows 95. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about Trade Locker and how, how you guys are pushing that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, look, I think... Yeah, as you'll see, and and obviously it's going to it's going to take time for people to adopt. But I think understanding the way traders trade now, you know, everybody I know, they do their markups on Trading View. They're using everything there, and then they're executing their trade on another platform. Um, and so you know, just bringing those two together really just changes the the experience totally because now you can trade on chart and and you know you you can do your markups and then straight away place the trade or, or have the conditions following what you've marked up yeah it's it's uh it's something that you know it's just following how traders trade and understanding those pain points understanding how people are using things and and making the product that uh that suits for that um, yeah. but i think going forward you know I think we're only starting with Trade Locker. It's it's only the beginning of the features that we're going to have. I think you know you'll see over the next you know six months, a year, we're just going to continue adding features. We have a roadmap on on the Trade Locker site where you can see you know all of the cool features that are going to be added. So yeah, it's 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 going to be really really exciting. Yeah, I've been playing with it on beta, and it's so nice to not have to you know have Trading View and MT4 open, and then whatever the discrepancy is in the price, you know, versus the yeah. spread of the broker versus what's on trading view and trying to find one that most closely matches it, like doing it all in one spot. So it's really convenient. Um, for those of you watching and don't know anything about trade locker, I will be making a video about that next week. So it'll give you a full rundown of all the teachers and everything that they have on there. But what I'd like to talk about now is the, the scaling up, um, on the account because a lot of people, you know, they'll get a funded account challenge and then use the money that they get from a, their first payout or their second payout to buy another challenge. And that's how mm -hmm. they scale their capital. Whereas you guys have the opportunity for traders to scale their capital just by being a consistent, profitable trader over time. Yeah. So look, I think again, going back to the fact that we're, we're funding people with live capital, it actually makes, it, it's a no brainer. That, that we will continue scaling that account and building it as big as we can because if somebody's consistent and profitable over time, it's in both of our interests to scale that account and give that person the biggest opportunity that they can to uh, make more and more profit. So yeah, I, I think scaling that account and as you say, you're not you're not pushed to do another challenge. You're not you know which distracts you from the original account. You know you should just be yeah. focused on now growing that funded account. Uh, so yeah, um, we're, we're going to be excited to, to see people, you know, throughout the years as they grow and grow and grow that account. Yeah. And that, that's 
what the best part is because if you have three funded accounts, you're literally just using a copy trader and you're going to get slippage between each one of those. And now you can just have, you know, $5 million account, which I like, I, I I'm working on it. I'll, I'll eventually get there and then I'll, I'll stop making YouTube videos. <laughs> um, but what I, what I did was, um, because we, we had already planned this interview, I, uh, shared in my telegram group, um, that I was going to have this call with you. Mm -hmm. And so I just asked them to email me as many questions as they could. And so I got a, uh, a list of a few questions here from the community. So I'm just going to shoot these over to you. The first question was somebody asked, I've always wondered what the rules are for keeping a funded account during the challenge. Can you only lose say, for example, 10% total? Is that the same for the funded account? So you make 10%, but lose 10%. Do you lose the account? Also, it goes in the positive. If you're, if you're up to 110, if you lose 10% of that main uh, account balance, does that make you lose the account? Yeah. So look, when when you're talking about that total loss, um, yeah, no, that that scales, and and you've built a buffer in there. So let's just say you've you've had a really strong couple of days, and you're 10 percent up, and then all of a sudden, you know, you start dropping down, and you go back to your original amount. That's safe. Your account is still safe, so you keep trading, uh, and you have the opportunity to keep going. Uh, next question: Is there any possibility to retake the challenge without having to pay another fee? So, for example, um, if one fails the challenge without vol violating um, any policies, can they retake it, say, if they didn't hit the the profit goal? But I know that you guys don't have a time limit on it. So, yeah. so my my experience would be like my last uh, FTMO challenge, I hit my profit target of 20,000, but my daily drawdown went over on one day by $700. And so, kaput. Yeah, look, I think with with the challenge that we've developed i think if you've not violated anything you know you, you're safe because you know you you've got the unlimited time you can leave the account as long as possible let's just say you know you're a hundred days in 200 days in and you're you're almost at your profit targets you you can keep going keep going keep going take your time um i think where where it's important for us and it's important for our traders as well. The criteria, you know, I think if we think about the way the criteria is set, it's a challenge for the person. It's meant to be a challenge because not everybody can do it, you know? And and I think when when that's the scenario, it pushes you as a trader to do your best and, and to be consistent and, and to work to be, you know, a safe but profitable trader. Um, and that means staying in between the, the criteria. But I think... You know, if if you keep that discipline, you know, then then you prove yourself and you get funded. Uh, so I think with the criteria, unfortunately, you know, if if you breach something, you, you breach it. But you know that that's part of uh, that's part of learning and that's part of the whole experience too. Yeah, and it's a hundred percent understandable because with trading, you have to follow your own rules. You have to, you know, keep your risk to reward ratio proper. You can't you wouldn't over leverage your own personal account. So why would you over leverage an investor's money that's funding your, your trading? So staying in those confines, you have to do it regardless if it's, you know, somebody else's money or your money. So I, I, I agree with that fact a hundred percent. And I know why all of these parameters are set up, but the one that's going to save everybody is the no time limit because yeah. You don't have to worry, oh, like, I'm $500 away, but I only have an hour left of my challenge. Like, there's no yeah. pressure. There's no stress. Just keep going. Small steps is going to get you there. Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, next question. When are credit and debit card payments going to be allowed? Because I know that a lot of people are scared to even touch cryptocurrencies with everything that's happened. So is that yeah. in the works? And do you have a timeline on it? Yeah, it's absolutely in the works. Uh, I suppose... The reason why we launched without was it, they're just kind of naturally taking time and we wanted to get, you know, really good and, and strong card processors. So to get out there and, and offer our product to uh, to people quickly, 
Um, that's why we launched without. But yeah, I, I'm hoping in the next two, three weeks, uh, we're going to have cards there. Um, and we're going to be working on a couple of options. So we hope to have, you know, a spread uh, of ways for people to to make that purchase in the beginning. Nice. That's awesome. Next question. Do they offer non-swap accounts, otherwise known as Islamic accounts? Uh, right now, we don't. However, it's... It's nice to get asked questions like this because it makes us think and it makes us uh, work on new product. Um, I see no reason why we can't do it, uh, and I'm gonna note that one down for the team. Nice, and you know that that's the thing. Like I, I ask the community because they're they're people that are in this space. They're trading all the time, and so if your end user is them, you know, getting their feedback and adjusting the platform to put things in there that you guys otherwise wouldn't have thought of. Absolutely. Next question about the scaling plan. Do you have to keep the 10% profit in the account to be considered or can you withdraw your profits at 10% every month and still be eligible to scale up? And I'm pretty sure I know the answer to this one that it automatically withdraws the profits every week, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, no, you're correct. And I think one of the biggest things to, to remember because we're providing that real capital when we're doing the revenue split, that's actually when when both of us make money. It's uh, and so it's actually in our incentive to have those um, have that kind of short seven day payment window. Uh, but yeah, no, every week um, profits come out uh, and you start you know you start that account uh, and keep building that account. So yeah, no, you, you take your profit, take your profit, take your profit, and then that account scales. And that, that's the smart way to do it anyway. If your trade's in profit, you move your stop loss to in profit. So you don't, you keep the money on the table. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next question is, is there going to be any demo account to try uh, Funder Pro like FTMO has their free trial to let people practice before they're ready to actually do it? Yeah. For real. So within... I believe this week our development team are, are, are trialing it and I'm hoping that within the next week or so we're going to have it out there for for people to, to sign up and, and use that. Um, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's something that we found really important. Again, you know, what we want to make sure is that before you take your challenge, you know, you've tested and you've tried and, and you've experienced, I suppose, not only our product, but, you know, you've experienced the whole challenge and, and how you can how you can take part without that risk. So it's it's been, you know, it's been something that we've been focused on developing. It's took a little bit of time, but uh hopefully in the next week or so we're gonna have that out there. That's amazing. I so when I started trading, I didn't know anything. I just was like winging it and learning off of YouTube. If I had like the perfect recipe to start out trading and you didn't know anything, like learn the information. And then instead of just having a demo account on whatever random broker or on MT4 on mobile is to start with a free trial of a challenge and do it over and over and over and over again. And that's your demo account to prove yourself, to get the consistency and then do it for mm -hmm. real. And you've literally invested $0 and you've gotten all the practice in the world. That's like real practice, not just, oh, I'm going to delete that bad trade that lost 30% of my account and just imagine that it never happened because you have yeah. to stay in the, the confines of this business. Yeah, that's exactly. Awesome. I'm, I'm really I'm, glad to hear that. Yeah, and, and that's what's, I suppose, again, amazing about the prop industry is that with those rules, um, it really, you know, it really helps you become a better trader because now all of a sudden, as you say, you can't you can't just add, add that extra two hundred dollars and and your account is is back to where it was last week. No, yeah. it, it's it's a hundred percent the accountability. It's yeah, it's right there, black and white. You can't get around it. Next question is going to be: Do you guys allow EAs to be used while trading on uh, on the challenge, whether it's a bot or whether it's just an EA to help, you know, with trade entries? Yes, we do. So in terms of using bots we find that uh, as you say it's it's support you know it, maybe the bot's not doing everything for you but it's helping you find those entry points it's helping you make those right decisions so yeah you can you're allowed to use eas and bots uh, on funder pro nice that's amazing yeah a lot of people they just they don't allow it I, I understand why like if you have the holy grail bot you know exactly 
<laughs> but I mean, if the the trader's profitable, and that that's what I don't understand about these other prop firms. If the trader's profitable, like, you know, give them capital and give them as much as you can, and everybody's exactly. going to be happy. Exactly, and and this is actually internally within the team we're hoping that somebody comes on with a really strong ea so everybody makes a, a load of profit <laughs> that would be nice I, yeah. i'm working on one i got a team of five just like every day smashing out numbers amazing all right la last question is going to be what do you see in the future for funder pro what measures are you taking and what would you do to ensure the longevity of the firm because i've seen numerous prop firms even that i've promoted on my youtube channel coming yeah, look, the future of Funder Pro uh, is, is we believe, not only the future of Funder Pro, but it's the future of, of the prop firm industry. What we really want to do is uh, we want to show that um, a company that's backing traders and really funding people can be a really, really strong market competitor and, and take over the industry because if we can show that there'll be more companies in the ecosystem doing it. And that just means better conditions for traders. So um, yeah, look, that's that's our future. That's our goal is that we really want to show the industry that, you know, backing traders and, and giving realistic uh, and, you know, good criteria where people are safe, they're consistent and, and the ecosystem, you know, is not against them, that that can still be profitable for everybody. Uh, that's our goal. That's what we want to do. And and hopefully then that ensures longevity, not only for Funder Pro, but for the industry. Yeah. Plus, I mean, it it puts the right foot forward with you, like coming on and answering these questions from my community, from actual traders. You know, it's it puts a face to a company name instead of just like, oh, you know, talk to our customer support team. We'll ignore you. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so that's all the questions that I got from my community. If your question didn't get on this stream, because I got I got a lot of them and I didn't want to have an 18 hour call with Gary here. So what I can suggest for you guys, if you have questions that weren't answered in this video, down in the description below is a link to their discord community. And they have a team of people answering everybody's questions. So whatever your specific question is, whatever your specific scenario is, ask your question in that discord community and they'll get right back to you amazing uh and i think just maybe to go back to what we were saying earlier as well not only questions but you know if there are things that y you can see that y you as a trader understand that um you know nobody's offering this and it's something that's going to be really valuable for traders let us know on that discord too um because we're listening we're always listening there i'm always watching it from the background and, uh, you know, any ideas there, they'll, you know, if, if, if that's solving a real need for people, we'll be making it into a product. That's amazing. Yeah. So play with, uh, with the new, uh, with the new platform, uh, trade locker. And if you come up with anything, put it in that discord community and they'll, they'll, yeah. they'll take it into their development team. Uh, Gary, thank you so much for joining me today. Hopefully, um, this brought a lot of value to the viewers. I know. I know it did for me because I a lot of these questions were the same questions that I had. So thank you so much for joining me, and uh, hopefully I'll get funded soon, and we'll both make money together. Fingers crossed. Yeah, no, thanks so much for having me. Had a great Perfect. time. Thanks, man. Thanks. Again, guys, that was a quick interview with Gary, the CEO of Funder Pro. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, everything is going to be linked down below. And if you guys have any type of questions, you guys can always DM me either on Discord or Telegram. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, watch this video next and don't forget to subscribe right here.